What is going on people? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, it's extremely cold today in Cyprus. This is the problem when you don't have central heating because the summer's too hot and then it gets to winter and there's no heating, so it's too cold. So. I'm struggling today. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to the video. If you don't know who I am, my name is LLB. And in today's video, I'm just gonna show you guys how I make my melodies, more specifically, how to sort of make catchy melodies. Uh, I know a few of you guys have sort of asked me how to make like certain types of melodies, so I thought I'd put this one together, show you exactly how I go about making my melodies. As always, we are here with another beat cook up. Make sure you've hit that subscribe button. Make sure you have hit the notifications bell so you can stay notified of these tutorials. Let's dive straight into it, people. speed on that first melody. I think that sample's not hit on beat properly, so I'll just play around with that a little bit and then just make it hit, you know, so it's a bit cleaner. You don't want to close for lunch? Yeah. Okay. I think we are done with that one people I hope you guys enjoyed that beat now let me jump in and tell you guys how I went about putting this melody together how I'd go about putting most of my melodies together um, just to make them stand out a little bit but not to be too over complicated if that makes sense let's dive into it so basically what I would do to begin with is I would get all my scale drawn out and put the ghost channels in just so you know you're, not, you're always going to be in key now if you didn't know how to do that um, I've done it in previous videos but Basically, all you need to do is figure out the scale that you want your beat to be in. So if you want it to be dark, go in the minor scale. If you want it to be like a happy beat, go in the major scale. The way you can find it out is go to the piano roll, this little down arrow here, 
chords and then there's a scale section down there. Um, click on that, click the scale in and drag it all the way across the 8 bar. Make sure you do that in an empty sampler because then nothing will play for it, you can just use it as a guide instead. Then when you open up a VST, like I've got one opened up here, you can see all of the notes highlighted. So if you don't see that, go down to the same drop down menu, helpers, make sure that ghost channels is ticked and then you will be able to see them. Okay, so once you've got that out of the way, then we can dive into, uh, you know, drawing in your melodies. So make sure that you always start on the root note of the melody. So let's say if I put a key there, that will be the root note. The first note is always a root note, okay? Then from there, I'd start to put some chords in and then I'd put a little melody. Now the way that I normally go about doing it is I'll normally use four keys and no more. Sometimes less, okay? So you don't need to use every key in the scale. Pick out four keys that sound good in the scale and use them. So what I'd do first is draw in the chord. So generally, you want to start at E and you want to go down to C and then A. Make sure you always leave in between two and three spaces between each key so that you can see there. Three spaces, two spaces. Okay, so I've got the first chord. So that's my first chord in G. Then I'll just go in and draw some more chords where I, you know, where I think they'll sound good. So let me just uh, give you an example. Okay, so that's fine for me. I'll then just copy and paste those into the next bar. Try and keep the chords nice and simple. Then go and start drawing in your keys. Now, general rule of thumb, try not to use any keys outside of the keys that you've drawn in. So we've got B, C, A, G, E, C, C you know, and same again, B, G, E. Okay, so use those three chords and then just play around with it until you've got like a nice rhythm and the keys sound like they're in the right spot as well. Okay, that sounds good. That's going to be my four bar. Then I'm just going to copy and paste that into the next four bar and then just make a couple of differences to give it a bit of variation. Okay, that sounds good. And then I'm, all I'm going to do then is just copy and paste that for the next uh, 8 bar because that'll just make it easy when I'm drawing in the drums to give them a bit of variation as well. And then that's pretty much all I'll do to the melody. Then I'll just start adding a couple of effects that makes it sound like it's a bit more complicated than what it actually is, which is really easy to do. I'm sure you guys have all heard about it. Gross beat and half time, okay? So drop your VST into the mixer track. Just highlight the VST there with a the little green highlighter. Over to the mixer, control on L. Drop gross beat on there. And then I will just half speed it. And then what you can do is automate it a little bit so the half speed comes in and out and that'll just make it sound like you're bringing instruments in when you're really not, <laughs> okay? So drop that pad into the uh, into the pattern maker and then just head over to the mixer track, right click the mixer knob for gross beat, create automation clip and then just play with it. So I'm going to have it playing around there and then make it duck out of the way a little bit here and then just do that so it's fairly similar. Okay, and then once you've got the melody, maybe just play around with some of the actual sounds themselves. So, you know, I'll just scroll through. Okay, that sounds alright to me. So what I'm going to do then is just play around with the tempo maybe. That sounds a bit too fast for me.
That sounds pretty dope. So that, that's all I'll do to it. Then maybe just start layering up those sounds on top of each other. Add a couple of drums and then you'll away with it. So there are the things that I'll do. First draw your chords in. Then start drawing in a few different keys. Then just make them sort of loop over a couple of bars and add a bit of variation. Gross beat it. Automate it. Maybe put some reverb on there. Automate that and just do a few different things to it. So that's all I'll do to it people. I hope that one helped. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Let me know what you guys think of that little tutorial in the comments. If you've got any questions about how I did what I've done, shoot them down in the comments and I will get back to you ASAP. I hope you liked that beat as well. Make sure you let me know what you guys think of that beat in the comments too. And as well, if you did enjoy the video, if you found some value from it, make sure you've hit that subscribe button. Make sure you've turned the notifications on. In the next video, I will be dropping an entry video for a collab video. So you need to look out for that. Last but not least, if you haven't done so already, make sure you go and cop the one drum kit. It has got over a gigabyte of sounds. I've thrown together all the sounds that I use in these beats, in all of my beats. They're all in there. There's over like 1,800 sounds in there. 808s, kicks, claps, perks, uh, cymbals, hi-hats, you name it. They're all in there. So make sure you go and cop that. The link's in the description if you want to go and grab that. Uh, and yeah, that's all for today, peeps. I'll see you guys next time.